Taylor Swift's first single, Fortnite, from her latest album, The Tortured Poets Department, that dropped just a few hours ago at midnight. The music superstar's latest project dives into her relationships, big moments, and more from her whirlwind life. Are you ready for it? I, I, <laughs> <laughs> yes. I had to. It's a highly anticipated album. People have been waiting for this. It keeps delivering surprises. That's her favorite. Plus lots of clues to her personal life. So joining us now to break it all down our ABC News contributor Mike Muse and entertainment editor Reve Ruff. And I am so happy you both are here and I'm so happy Mike because we fell asleep. We didn't listen to the whole album. <laughs> we only listened to the first part. You listened to the whole thing. I listened to all the double album, all 30 songs. I mean, this is the day that so many Swifties have been waiting for to hear what Taylor Swift has to say. She's coming off of this epic Eras tour. We want to know what is left to be said, and she has a lot to talk about. This collaboration she did with Post Malone, for me, really sets the tone of this album, and really this album is about the dichotomy of Taylor. We usually see Taylor in her feelings and heartbreak in relationships, but this is a different type of heartbreak. She's like, yes, my heart is broken, but I'm moving on. It's almost like so what, right? And, and that's mm -hmm. a new tailor that's more stronger and more edgier and more defiant. Um, let's talk about some of the logistics that happened here, right? So we, we heard the breakout single. Now break down this album for us, because Spotify was saying this was the most pre-saved album of all time. It was supposed to be like 16 new tracks, one album. Surprise! <laughs> <Exactly>. Second <laughs> drop at 2 a.m. <laughs> yes, it's a shock drop for all the Swifties. It was a, it's supposed to be just the 16 songs that we were expecting, but it actually turns out to be 31 songs, a secret double album. And like you said, she broke the Spotify algorithm. She broke everything. Like it shut down when the fans found out at 2 a.m. Um, now, I want to get her words right. She said, I've written so much tortured poetry in the last two years, and I wanted to share it all with you. So here's the second installment, 15 extra songs. And now the story isn't mine anymore. It's all yours. And people ate it up. They shut mm -hmm. down Spotify. But just to talk about the album originally, Taylor said she'd written over the last two years stories of heartbreak, longing, um, anger, self-reflection, and she really delivered. And I was surprised. A standout song for me was Down Bad. It's really catchy, but it's kind of like morose and dark if you listen to the lyrics. Mm -hmm. um, that's just Taylor's way. It is Taylor's way. Let's talk about the lyrics because whether you're a Swifty or not, you have to respect her songwriting. She is really very good, very yeah. clever with her songwriting. You said you were excited to see where she goes this album. I was. Are you excited? I mean, are you um, surprised by where she went? Not at all. Uh, because you know what it really is? Everybody has that challenge when they start out as a young child actor or a child pop star. How do you grow with your audience? Taylor has a younger audience as well that she has to be mindful of, but I think she is growing up and leaning into more of the older sides of her audience. And you really saw that with the song, I Can Do It With A Broken Heart. That's actually one of my favorite songs because it has a little bit of a vibe, a little bit of a kick to it, but she's really like, I had a broken heart this whole time doing eras, I'm out here dancing, but I'm crying and falling on the floor. And she's using profanity and cuss words to really describe how she's feeling in that moment. I thought that was a little bit of a surprise for me but I enjoyed it and I was like, oh, she's growing up. Well, let's talk more about the lyrics and the things that she has to say because that's what the Swifties, they love the Easter eggs, right? That's what they call them, the <laughs> Easter eggs. Did she deliver on the Easter eggs in this? She more than delivered. Taylor is always very calculated with the things she does and she leaves a lot of breadcrumbs for the dedicated Swifties and her fans to kind of find what the clues are. So for this one, um, there's one that's being talked about a lot online, So Long London. People are speculating that it's about her longtime relationship with Joe Alwyn. Um, they were together in London. They actually she shared a home there. So So Long London sounds like she's saying goodbye to him. And actually the song is nine minutes and 28 seconds long. And their relationship anniversary was September 28th. So it's a little clue for everyone, Ooh. exactly. Um, fans actually assume there'll be tons of references to Joe's relationship, but um, I think we're hearing a little bit more about some of her more recent flings. Um, the first song, uh, excuse me, I forgot the name of it. The first song, the first track sounds like the romance with her 1975 frontman, um, Maddie Healy. It actually sounds like a 1975 song as well, like rhythmically. Um, she describes choosing a cyclone with a partner who is tattooed golden retriever. So she's called, you know, he has a lot of tattoos and it kind of sounds like she's calling him dog a little bit. Mm. So mm. that's what the fans are saying anyway. So. <laughs> the fans have a lot to say. Yeah, always. You don't believe me, go online because <laughs> yeah. they are breaking it all down. Thank you guys for breaking this down Absolutely. for us today. By the way, listen to Alchemy about Travis Kelsey. That's the really Travis that's Kelsey the one. one. That's yeah, the yeah, one. Yeah. That's like joyful song. Yeah, but Daddy yeah. I Love Him too really talks about, she's kind of critiquing her fans by saying, hey, the fans, sometimes they will raise you, but then they want to put you in a cage. And mm -hmm. I think that is fascinating. There's a lot to break down here.